Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to Wasteland Remastered. I hope you uh, enjoyed that intro. Now, if you don't know what Wasteland is, it's a it's an overhaul of the classic RPG from 1988 that brought the post-apocalypse to video games. Uh, there's been a couple of uh, sequels made. Wasteland 2 came out a couple of years ago, and I believe Wasteland 3 is coming this year, and it's gonna be. Uh, I think a big massive thing. Any case, this is this is really a classic RPG and uh, it's been remastered right now. I'm playing this on GOG. You can also get it on Steam. And uh it's just, you know, it's a classic. It's a classic. If you if you really like RPGs, I'd say give this one a try, but you know what? Today we're going to give it a try together and see how it plays. I never played the original Wasteland, I did play the number two, I never played the original because, I mean, it released two years before I was even born, so, <laughs> you know, but I, I was aware of it, I've heard of it many times from people that did play it back then. In any case, let's start a new game, and let's go in here. The following is an excerpt from the history of the Rangers, the early years, by Carl Allard, 2087. Allard Press, Ranger Center, hardbound, page 293, $20 gold. Tensions grew with the coming of 1998. The United States Citadel Star Station was slated to be fully operational by March. Soviet charges that the space station was merely a military launching platform alarmed a number of non-aligned nations. Two weeks before Citadel was due for full operation, the station transmitted a distress signal. Immediately after the message was sent, most of the satellites orbiting the planet were swept clean from the sky, leaving the great powers blind. In military panic, each sent their nuclear arsenals skyward. On that day, a company of U.S. Army engineers were in the southwestern deserts building transportation bridges over dry riverbeds near a newly constructed federal prison for criminals condemned to death. The engineers took over the prison and expelled the inmates into the desolate desert to complete their sentences. The company soon realized that communities beyond the desert's grip had also survived and felt compelled to help these other survivors rebuild and live in peace. Toward this end, the Desert Rangers and the great tradition of the Texas and Arizona Rangers a century before were born. The prison, which came to be known as Ranger Center, grew to be one of the strongest outposts in the wasteland. The Desert Ranger badge of authority, the Ranger Star, is one you wear. New orders await, and with them, your adventure in the wasteland begins. Go, go, Desert Rangers. Right? Isn't that the one? I don't know. <laughs> After several strategy meetings with the leader of the Desert Rangers, General Sergru, you've been assigned to investigate a series of disturbances in the desert. You've been ordered to search for clues in High Pool, the Agricultural Center, and the Rail Nomads Camp, all of which are located to the west of Ranger Center. All right. Well, we have to go to the west now. I remember agriculture center. I remember it from Wasteland too. I think the nomads as well. I'm, I'm not sure. It's been a couple of years. So, we are at the ranger center right now, and these are our people that we have: Hellraiser, we have Angel of Death, Trasher, and Snake Vargas. These guys are the ones we start with. I believe this man, if I remember correctly, is a well-known guy. In any case, I believe we can create our own uh, people if we, if we delete these ones, but we're gonna stick with the guys that uh, the game actually gave us. You can see their stats over here, strength, intelligence, luck, speed, all that good stuff, skill points, all the, all the things that you have out there. Uh, items, what, they're, what they have on them. This man over right now has a pistol, we're, we're looking at Hellraiser, pistol. Some clips for the pistol. Here's a crowbar, a rope, canteen, knife, head mirror, and so on and so forth. Uh, these are his skills. He's solid at brawling, climbing, clip pistol, swimming, perception, SMG, sound move, acrobatics, and knife throwing. Angela Death over here. She is very smart. Not so strong, but strong, but 
quite uh, smart indeed. She is very dexterous as well. Uh, this constitution over here is their HP. Uh, of course, we can see ammo and weapons equipped right now. Let's see her items. She's got this pistol, whatever that one is. Rope, canteen, a crowbar as well. Uh, she's solid at the clip pistols, swimming perception. She can pick locks. She's solid at assault rifles. You know, she's got some skills in that. We have Thrash over here who has the most HP for us. So we kind of like him as our maybe a tank or something like that. Very strong man. I like that. And he's wielding a knife wound right now. Eh, maybe we'll give you... How about you equip a crowbar potentially? Maybe we'll give you a crowbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Equip that crowbar. There you go. I don't know if it's a good one. We'll see. It's good at bra brawling. Knife fighting. So maybe he should have that knife. But that's okay. Keep, keep that. And then Snake Vargas over here. Uh, he is he is intelligent that he very much is and uh, He's got a pistol and things over here. He doesn't have anything at level two, but uh, That's okay. You know, he, he is medic. I think he's like our only medic out here So there you go. Okay, so uh, let's let's play We're gonna go into the world right now. This is this is the world we're in the desert and uh, if you look at our a journal we have our active quests we have to go investigate high pool uh, which is west of ranger center uh, rail nomads is northwest of ranger center and agriculture center which is west also all right we have no passwords there's some paragraphs out here no encounters stats we played for three minutes amazing so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go and we're gonna put Thrasher up front because I kind of want him as our tank and then the rest can be the way they are. And I think Hellraiser, I kind of want you to equip the pistol as well. So we have a crowbar, one man with M1911 A1. Uh, 45 pistol and then we have two 9mm pistols on these guys. That's all we have. We don't have any guns or something like that that's all we have so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving out west because that's where we have i guess this is this is one of these places where you have to go but i think yeah the, the, the mountain is in our way okay there seems to be like a tornado and also it's very warm out here uh there's another place over there I, you know might as well go to that one sure we could go explore this one first this, I think, might be the agriculture center, right? I saw the the things. Hello. Outside the sales booth, a group of ta uh, ten men with axes, hoes, rakes, and shovels shake their heads with despair. Hello, friends. May we speak? Closer now, you can hear the conversation of the man you saw when you came in. There is a short silence after each man voices his thoughts. They speak of Mormons. Warmans? Okay. Who are impossible to kill. The Warmans are stealing their food faster than ever before, and they seem to be massing for a major attack. The simple weapons of the farmers are not enough to stop them. They have no idea what to do. One of them jumps as he notices you and they all turn to face you. A stocky man they call Miguel approaches you notice in your journal as paragraph 56. I mean, we are the desert rangers, so hey. Um, hello. What do I say? Uh, how about uh, payment? Pay? The farmers look at each other, then dig through their pockets and offer you several bits of colored glass and some shiny pieces of aluminum. Seeing the confused look on your face, Miguel said they will also give you food. Perfect. Okay. Um, so do you want me to go deal? Oh, there we go. Offer to help. Miguel is pleased. The other farmers smile and thank you. They lead you to the vegetable field. In the shadow of an enormous satellite tracking dish stands the old man. Over a hundred years old, he is still vigorous and bright of eye, although he rambles incoherently at times. The farmers remove their hats as they approach and wait for him to speak. Frowning, deep in thought, he stares at what appear to be the remains of a 15-foot-tall carrot. He holds a long shaft of broken metal in one hand and mumbles something about wascally wabbits that he had to beat away with his best rake. Miguel explains that you've come to help. The old man studies your weapons and tells you that he doesn't think your pea shooters will do any good against the armored varmints, but that you're welcome to try. If you succeed, he wants you to come back and see him. There's something he'd like to show you. 
Free to roam the veggie field, you head towards the carrot patch. From a distance, you hear the old man warn you, Watch out for Harry, the bunny master. Watch out for Harry, the bunny master. All right, where's the old man? So our mission has updated. Let's go take a look. We are the AD center, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You agreed to help the farmers at the agricultural center with the uh, wormants eating all their crops. You're also told to watch out for somebody called Harry, the bunny master. All right. I like the fact that he said, oh, <laughs> They're right here. The lizards are right here. I like it how he said that uh, our pea shooters are not going to do much. So, well, we have our first encounter. Looks like these guys spawned right on top of us. So, sure. Uh, let's see if he's close enough. Yeah, we're close enough. So, we're just going to go with attacks. I'm just going to go with number five on all of our boys and see how it goes. Nine damage, seven damage, three damage. We killed one. Okay. Which means there's one left and he dealt two damage to Angela. All right. Well, let us continue. Uh, I'm just going to go with attacks. We killed one. There's three, I think. Uh, our ammo also goes down. You should not reload before your clip is empty. Because otherwise you waste the bullets in there. So, unless you really have to. Okay. Damage. Damage. We killed one. And that's all, right? Yeah, 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 good. Okay, so we killed that patch. We took some damage on Angela. And that's about it. Sweet. Carrots lay here. It's 15 tool targets of long-eared wormans. We got bunnies. Where are they? Two feet. Two feet away, we have uh, bunnies. Armored, long-eared, pink and white lumps of fur are hopping around here. A wall of pink eyes pops up in front of you. Five bunnies, huh? Well, we're just gonna smag them. Let's attack the three bunnies first. Go. One dead, two dead, three dead. Okay, and they dealt six damage to us. Hellraiser took five of that. Okay. We should be able to uh, just kill these ones. Yeah, alright, easy mode. Bunny's dead. Continue. We're getting experience. Now, when you get enough experience, you can use the radio call in and they're gonna tell you if you have enough experience to be promoted which we do not well that's unfortunate uh, but hey who am I to judge you uh, let's explore around a bit slowly but surely see if there's more buddies there's something over there I'm gonna go check it out uh, wooden door um, you see, you have items and stuff. Let's see, uh, Angela, you've got pick locks. This way. Ah, oh, she has done it, the absolute mad woman. Uh, Thrasher, loot this. There's an extra crowbar and some fruits. Sure. Alright, this is also close. Let's see if we can uh, use Thrasher and have him use a crowbar. That doesn't seem to work. It maybe would work, but I guess we can use uh, Angela's uh, lockpicking skills again. Oh, that just brings us back, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay, let's go. There's more fields up here, and eh? there's more loot up here. We're gonna do the same. Angela, skill up, lockpicks, go. Easy mode, what do we have? Uh, I guess, Hellraiser, loot the fruits. Sure. Alright. Um, I don't know why I'm going around here. But it feels like we can. Oh! Three bunnies. 14 feet away. Really? Uh, can you attack from this? Yeah, he can. Okay. Keep attacking. One down. Two down. Thrasher misses. Three down. Okay. All dead. XP for us. Oh, oh, there's some lizards. We're going for them. We're just one desert lizard, but 20 feet, 22 feet away. I don't know exactly how much that is. I'm not from uh, any place that uses feet for uh, measurements, but... Okay, so he's not in range. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the whole party closer. Yeah. We just moved. They didn't attack us because they're also melee. And now we can attack. 
5, 11, 4, 13. And Thrasher did two attacks. Nice. Killed him. Good. Hellraiser will soon have to reload. There's bunnies over yonder. It's rats, actually, not bunnies. 30 feet. We're gonna get closer to them. Let's move the party closer. It's probably still too far away, right? Yeah. We're gonna get uh, even closer. Okay. Now, it would be obnoxious if they had ranged weapons and could attack us, but... It's also useful if Hellraiser is close by. Um, you attack the number one rat. You attack the number two rat. No, oh, nobody killed them, huh? Okay, you killed the number one. And two rats missed. Did four damage to a snake. Snake Vargas. All right, continue. Uh, Hellraiser will need to go reload. So, number seven for you. You guys go five. One dead. Rasher missing. One rat missing. Okay, so there's two rats left. Hellraiser did reload, which is good. So for now, just smack him. One down. Thrasher missing. Thrasher missing twice, but the rat also misses. Okay. Fine. We should be able to murder it now. Hey, there you go. Hellraiser got it with his pistol. Continue. We got XP. Sweet. Any loot for us? No, but there's three foot tall graves seem to be everywhere. Um, there's something there. There's something over here. There's opossums here. <laughs> 22 feet. It's probably too far. Yeah. So we're going to get uh, closer. Yeah. They couldn't attack us, but we should be able to do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the second opossums, I guess. That's what you get, you know, when there's a desert wasteland. Oh, Thrasher, you missed twice, dude. And they dealt four damage to us in total. Now, what you can do is go camp in a safe place, and uh, you'll be able to slowly heal up. Because when this drops to zero, your boy goes unconscious. If that deteriorates even lower, then he might die if you don't medicate them. But otherwise, uh, through camping and such, they will slowly regen their health. Okay, let's attack the possums again and hopefully murder them this time around. Missing, killing, kill him. Okay. So there's one opossum left. And we'll just attack it. There you go. 20 damage. Hell razor. Doing good there, buddy. I do notice that three people only got XP. I guess Thrasher maybe missed all of it. Uh, there is a man over there. I do wonder if he would want to talk to us. Although they did say something about beware of the bunny person. Yeah, Harry the bunny master. Mm. All right, well, is that Harry? No, that's a deranged farmer at 30 feet. It's quite far away. He's got a gun. Um, you definitely can't attack him, right? Okay, let's see. Um, you move there. Hellraiser. Attack, attack, attack. Missing. Oh! Killed him. Nice. For 8 points, kill the farmer. Okay, we're back together. Hellraiser is now number one. We'll have to switch that. So you can click on order. And we're gonna go with uh, Thrasher first. Hellraiser, Angela, and Snake. Maybe these two were slightly different before, but that's okay. Giant Tomatoes, hopefully not of the killer variety. Hellraiser is gonna have to reload soon. Oh, we got four Desert Lizards. Alright, well... They spawned on us right away, but we should be able to just smack them right now. 8 damage, 2 damage, 9 damage. Thrasher, stop missing! Okay, killed 1. They dealt 4 damage in total to us. Not too bad. Okay, Thrasher, stop missing. Hellraiser, you gotta reload, son. And you two... Keep on attacking. I probably should keep these two who have... What seems to be longer range weaponry. A bit further behind. Maybe, and Hellraiser and Thrasher close in. Potentially. 
Okay, one more down. And... Okay, it missed. Thrasher did 22 points of damage this time around. That's pretty good. So there's like two remaining. Keep on smacking them. Okay, that's one down. That's all of them down. Good. Thrasher gains 360 experience, and that's pretty good. Can you radio in? No. Nobody's quite ready. Is there some... Oh, there's something over here. Uh, let's go through the door. Angela, use your pick lock. There you go. What you got? Thrasher loot this. It's a club. Um... There is a way to see... I think in journal... Stats... Um... Encounters... We can see the damage these things do. I would like to know how much... The stats of my... What is what is all this? Okay, that's, that's a lot of the stuff. Uh, I would like to know the stats. Is that... What's the view? I don't know. Mm. I would like to compare the crowbar versus the club. What would it be better? Hmm. Help. Can you tell me? Items. Weapons. Long range weapons. Um, that's rifles. We don't have rifles. No, 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 no. Short range weapons. We have these pistols, right? Set aside on the previous two world wars. Oh, well. That's what we have in year 2080 ish. Something like that, I think. All right. Pistols and grenades. That's about it. Well, not much help, are you? Well, let's let's try the club. Sure, go with a club. Actually, how's your skills? You have you're good at brawling, so. Although that's probably like uh, unarmed skill, isn't it? I don't know. Keep that. Uh, we're also gonna go through here. Uh, the question is, do we want to go heal a bit? We might. Let's. You know what? I'm gonna go back to where the farmers... Ah! They're shooting at us. You leap sideways, barely avoiding a giant pineapple that flows deeply into the ground where you were standing. So there's these catapults that shoot us with stuff. I'm gonna go over here at the boys and be like, Hey boys, I'm just gonna camp over here until we heal up a bit. You okay with that? Because I believe if you, if you camp in a dangerous area, like over there somewhere for instance, the enemies might spawn and uh, attack you, so I'd prefer not to do that. Also, these two guys will need to reload soon. Oh, we're fully heal healed, actually. Can I trade with you? The sales booth is closed today on account of warm attacks. Okay. Well, let's go down here then. And back into the trenches. Piece the size of bowling balls lined the ground in pods. You've entered a green sequoia broccoli forest. 30 foot tall stalk story over your puny human body. Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, there's enemies over there. Giant tomatoes, hopefully not with the killer variety. I just one lizard. Uh, many holes surrounded by packed earth. An armor sentinel with brown fur spots you and barks an alarm. Prairie dogs. At two feet. Um, okay, so I guess it's prairie dogs instead of that lizard that was over there. Uh, I just attacked the first set of Oh, there's Desert Lizard as well. No, I attacked the Desert Lizard accidentally. Didn't want to do it because it's too far. Okay. okay, okay. That's a lot of... No, it's not that much damage. But the dogs are obnoxious. Okay, Thrasher, go for the dogs. Go, leave the Desert Lizard alone. I was, uh, I was too fast on the clickings over there. Let's get rid of the dogs first. Upgrade. Oh, Weapon jam. Okay, we got one dog down. And they dealt two damage to us. Uh, Hellraiser got uh, their weapon jammed, which is unfortunate. Go for the dog. 
You unjam your weapon. Go for the dog. Your HP is somehow lacking. Unfortunately. Go for the dog. Go for the dog. Okay, that's one more down. Oh, great nerve. Crap. Okay, unjammed your weapon. Alright. Um, fine. Thrasher. We have one prairie dog over here. I believe in you that you'll destroy that one. Hellraiser. You go for number three. Angela. You go for number three and you unjam your weapon. Thrasher, please. No! I believed in you. Okay. She's got 10 HP. I'm gonna have to go heal up after this one. Okay, take care of the dog, okay? Hello, Razor. You take care of the other dogs. That's not much damage. Okay, Thrasher got that one. It dealt 9 damage. Wow. 13 damage. Spreading it around though, so that's not the worst thing. Angela's gonna have to reload. Okay, uh, attack. Attack the prairie dogs. Angela, reload. Snakeo, go attack dogs. Three damage is really crap. We are failing to kill these things. Good thing they miss sometimes as well. We're not really doing well over here. <laughs> okay. Attack. Attack the dogs. Attack the dogs. Attack the dogs. This is our turn, boys. We're not killing anything. Okay, we killed one, finally. Which means two left. Please. I beg of you, my friends. Kill these prairie dogs. Okay, that's one more down. Come on, Thrasher. Oh, Thrasher. Okay, they deal only one damage. Attack. Get the goddamn prairie dog. The lizard isn't... Okay, fine, we got that. The lizard isn't doing anything to us anyway. So, we're gonna have to move closer. Yes. Um, so, we are here. Could move a bit closer, I guess, still. Can you attack it? No. So we'll... Let's move you. Here. Hellraiser. You guys attack. Missing. Damage. Missing. Thrasher is coming closer. Yes. Um, I would like Thrasher as well to work with us. Oh, right. Reload. Angela. Attack. Attack. Ah, there you go. There's Thrasher. Attack. Go. Two points. Seventeen points. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, they're dead. Continue. All right. Okay, we're together. Um, this is not, not very good. Okay, let's uh, let's go heal. That that fight was quite something. We're gonna go camp out there, boys. Because I'm afraid of what might be in here still. Because there's that bunny hairy guy. That's apparently dangerous. Mm. That's why we want to keep on camping. We're not in a hurry to help these people, are we? I mean, it's only their life, lifeline. Their, their food is being just numbed. And is being destroyed. No worries there, right? Okay, we're fully healed. Let's get back in there. I'm not gonna go through the gauntlet where we're being shot by catapults, which is extremely weird. Okay. Oh, we have opossums. Continue. I don't see them, but smack them, boys. Smack them. Smack them. Smack them. Go. That's, that's some good damage. Okay, we killed one. The opossum did miss. Kill them. Watch for the bullets. Don't waste them. Okay, uh, let's see if we have any XP yet. Ooh, Thrasher's achieved the rank of Private First Class. Thrasher, you get two adventure points to distribute among your stats. Use an attribute. Strength, 
IQ, luck, speed, agility, dexterity, charisma, max uh, HP. I'm gonna put... Uh, IQ is apparently a very important thing. So we're gonna put it to IQ. And we're gonna put one into strength. Okay. Fashion stink wars don't have enough. Uh, how about the other two? Nobody does have enough. Okay, so Thrasher got a new level up. What a madman. What an absolute madman. Wait, we have some skill points, right? It's set over here. Can we distribute these skill points? What is P for pool? Divide. Help. Do we have attributes and stats? Strength, combat, luck, speed, agility, dexterity, charisma. Skill points. When you first create a character, this one is identical to IQ. The more skill points you have, the more skills you can learn. You can acquire more skills points during the game, see skills for more details. Um, I guess we can learn new skills after that? Potentially. How many skill points? Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go up here. Skills you possess weigh heavily in your success. Nah, nah, nah. Medical skills are important. Uh, the higher your IQ, the more skills you get to choose from. You simply can't learn the more technical skills you're not smart enough. The love your skills, the higher it is, the better you are at the skill. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. When creating a character or visiting a library, you'll see a total of available skill points at the top of the screen. Ah, so we have to visit the library. Okay. All right. All right. We'll find a library somewhere. Let's first go uh, find some more puny wormants. Wherever they are. Hello. Oh, prairie dogs. We got three prairie dogs. Sure. You go for the number one. You guys go for the number two. Go. Ten damage. One death. Thirteen. And a miss. Alright, well, we're gonna spread over here. You go number one, you go number one, you guys go number two. Go. Okay, that's one down. Don't you miss. Well, I guess everybody goes for... Oh, never mind. Everybody goes for number one now. Well, that's a good kill, boys. Angel of Death got plenty of experience. Let's see if he can get something. No. Nothing. It's gonna need a reload soon. We're injured a bit. There's a lot of wheat. Carrots lay here. Oh! A large farmer is walking around among the green leaves of this carrot patch. Sensing your approach, he stops swinging and watches you with his ominous eyes. Filled with hatred for you and your kind. This is Harry, the bunny master. He's got an axe. Okay, so he's Harry and he's got two bunnies. You know what? I'm not really afraid of bunnies. Thrasher, you go for Harry. Yeah. Hellraiser, you get the bunnies. Angela, you get the bunnies. Snake, you also get the bunnies. Nice. Okay, that's both bunnies down. Harry misses. Thrasher brutalized Harry for 30 damage. Okay, but we all get to attack now before he does. 6, 7, 12... This guy's got a lot of HP, 14. Whoa, Harry pounds on Angela death and hits her for 23 points. She's at 3 HP. Oh boy. Um, Thrasher? Smack him, boys. Uh, Hellraiser needs to reload. Did I click on reload? I think I clicked on attack. So maybe he's just gonna use his knife or something. Two damage. Oh, we got him. Hellraiser. I don't know what you used for damage, but we got him. 500 experience in Hellraiser. I guess who uh, gets the kill gets the most XP. He doesn't have enough XP. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's loot. Thrasher. Loot 7 cash. Mission complete. Investigate AG Center. The old man is pleased to see that you have killed Harry. His destruction will demoralize the remaining Hormans. A holiday will be declared in your honor. Farmers cheer nearby. Murdering the cute little animals has rescued their major food supply. Old man. Thank you. Uh, that was it. Hell yeah. Uh, so what about our reward? Oh, there's bunnies. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't really have issues attacking 
bunnies. Reload. Attack a bunny. Attack a bunny. Go. One? Okay, that killed one. That killed the other. Okay. Reloading. Uh, what about that reward? That dude had seven cash on him. It's not much. Oh, this is a shop now. Alright, talk to me. Uh, who wants to enter? Thrasher? Sell... Sell your fruits. Definitely don't need them. Nice. Uh, let's see if you can buy something. Clay pots, fruits, and jewelry. Yeah, no. Uh, do we have anything to sell? We got more fruits. Angela? You don't have anything. Snakeo? Don't have anything. Alright. Well, that's our first completed. First quest done. First quest dusted. Easy mode. Uh, Harry the rabbit dude is dead and Angela is almost smacked. Harry the bunny master. You know what? Let us let us go. Let us travel into the wasteland. Let's go. Let's go check the other place and then I think we're gonna finish uh, the episode over here. Just want to see how it looks. Hello. Hi, Paul. All right. Looks like it's amongst the rocks. Yes, yes. Hello. And there seems to be a village over here. Uh, playground with swings and slides. You're in the desert north of the settlement of Highpool. Okay. Ah, oh, we can go in here. Hello. May you speak? This is a wall. No, this is a man. Don't tell me. Hello, sir. Uh, tell me, what do you have? Books, canteen, crowbar, gas mask, Geiger counter, hand mirror, jug, map, and some matches. Pickaxe, ooh, rope, shovel, sledgehammer, snake, squeezins. <laughs> uh, dude, I want to buy a sledgehammer. Give me a sledgehammer. All right. I want to see if I can, um, uh, if I can have Thrasher. Equip that sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Equip. Yeah, sledgehammer right there, boys. That's nice. This is a wall. Okay. Oh, mission update. Investigate high pool. I know what tackle to the wall says. Cave. Adults. Raid outlaws. Jackie. Bobby's dog. Fix water purifier. Um... What is this? You found a list of things that are a problem in high pool. Caves, Jackie, Bobby's dog, and a broken water purifier. Well, what can we do about it? Can I talk to you or just trade? I guess I can just trade. How about can I talk to you guys now? No. How about here? Mr. Jumbo, the door is locked. Well, I'm sure nobody's gonna mind uh, Angela using her lockpick. You don't resist your offer, uh, your efforts. Uh, let's try it again, Angela. Ah, oh, let's go. Nobody minds. You see a bed to the west and cluttered desk to the east. Uh, one note is cash accounts with the rail nomads. Another outlining sneak attack plans against desert marauders. This last note seems odd since it's clear assumes only two attackers against many. And this is a wall. And the wall are faded photos kids. T-shirt says... Cam high pool. Uh, this bedroom looks like a scum pit. Wow, nice. <laughs> All right, well, uh, hello. Uh, who are you? You seem like a person I might be able to talk to. Uh, I'm not gonna attack you. Can I um, do anything? I don't know. Charisma, number seven. This way, nothing happens. Actually, um, um, encounter. Oh, the youths are arranged by your unguest like actions. I didn't want to do that. Well, I guess we're fighting some Jewies. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't want to do this. Sorry. Can I hire you, Thrasher? Hire them. The other shoot at them. <laughs> well, we killed one, we killed the other, so I'm guessing we're not hiring them. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. Thrasher, 
We got a mangler and some cash. What's a mangler? Uh, thrasher. Is that a, like a melee weapon? Items. Mangler. Probably. I'm sorry, this is really not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, well, we killed some juveniles out here. What could possibly go wrong, huh? I mean, we came here to help. Can we enter anything else? Oh, there's another person out there. Hello, friend. A tearful boy watches you from nearby bush. Do you want to talk? Sure. What do I ask him about? Um... Right, what do we have to do? It, it was something about Bobby. Uh, Bobby's dog, right? This name is... Dog? Don't kill my dog, Rex, okay? Please. Hmm. Uh, cave? The cave is between the pool and the west cliff wall, kind of between do those two trees. Between pool and the west cliff wall, kind of between those two trees. Sobs Rex and then runs away. Pool, which is, I guess, this, and the west cliff wall. Mission updated. Uh... You talked to a Jewie named Bobby who told you that his sick dog is in the caves and that his friend Jackie went missing in there too. Oh. So this is the pool. Oh, this must be caves over here? Isn't this... There's something over there. I thought there's a, like a hole over here. Or is this over here? Huh. I mean, this is the pool, right? And the West Cliff stuff? No, I don't know. In any case, I did say I'm gonna go and uh, finish over here. So, for now, thank you everybody for watching. I do hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. Uh, you guys let me know if you'd like to see more Wasteland Remastered on the channel. I'll be glad to play it because I think it's a really cool RPG. You know, a very classic one in that. But otherwise, go check it on GOG or Steam or whatever your preferred platform is. And, uh, well, if you, if you want to, just give it a try, buy it and support the devs. We're very nice to remaster this cult classic. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Kick her out.